Hey there fellow adult collectors, welcome back. David Eon here with another buy request showcase video today taking a look at the processed plastic NASA space shuttles. The shuttle launch as it's called, sold primarily in Woolworths, manufactured by processed plastics and I've got this next to the Apollo moon rocket set which I showcased a few weeks back also by request the requests of course came from our tour videos that we did a couple of months ago and I had pointed out in the tour videos hey guys if you see anything that you would like me to showcase maybe you'd like to know more about it or get a better look at it let me know and I got a long list of items the Apollo moon rocket was on that list and so were these and so today we'll be taking a look at the processed plastics NASA space shuttles which were made in the very early 1980s and they weren't cheap by comparison if you look at the original price on the Apollo moon rocket which was made in the 1970s that's a dollar fifty nine sold at Woolworth and then you look at the price down here at the shuttle launch set six ninety nine the price is way up there department two thirty which of course is the toy department number for Woolworths and like most of the processed plastic stuff processed plastic toys they're basically just hollow blow mold plastics done in different colors processed plastics did primarily vehicles you know boats cars trucks and space vehicles including the Apollo moon rocket the shuttles and the Titan rocket which is not shown here now these rockets are about and I'll show you right off 16 inches tall from the gantry to the top of the main propulsion rockets that are in the center and they did a really good job of modeling this you got your you got your boosters you got your main propulsion your shuttle and a little gantry platform there all strapped in here in this neat little package and on the back of this you know I'll put this all the way around there's not much in the way of graphics the graphics are basically just some puffs of smoke no batteries required because it really doesn't do anything <laughs> it's all imagination folks but on the backs of these is a lot of information tells you all about the shuttles themselves tells you all about the actual space shuttle which of course you know NASA began work on in September of 1976 and launched on April 12th 1981 and the name of that shuttle was the Enterprise Gene Roddenberry would be proud and it was a 10 billion dollar project and as a result NASA kind of franchised themselves out all over the place trying to recover some of that money which is why this is an official NASA product <laughs> And these are pretty neat, actually. As I pointed out, great play value with these rockets. There are no figures with this one, like with the Apollo. You see there's two little red astronauts up in there. But just like with the Apollo moon rocket, these are done in multiple colors. You already noticed that I've got two different variants here. It's the exact same shuttle, but there are variations between the two color variations primarily these were done in many different colors they're not easy to find still in the box they're they're actually rather difficult they're not worth a fortune this sticker looks like it's coming up a little bit there but that's okay they're not worth a fortune they're not like super expensive or anything probably I would expect somebody to pay more than a hundred dollars for one of these sets at the absolute top of your price range but there are several variants a considerable number of variants because like with everything else processed plastic did they molded it in multiple colors including blue 
which I don't have any blue on these two rockets or shuttles. There's no blue here, just white, red, and gray. But I have also seen these with blue plastic. And there are seven primary components. to this shuttle system. You got the two boosters which are always the same color. Like these two are gray, the other one is white. So that counts as one, two, three for the main body, four for the door, five for the fin, six for the propulsion system, and seven for the gantry. So seven different components done in four basic colors gives you at least 28 variants. So it is possible that if you hunted for these for years and years, you could end up with 28 completely different, color-wise anyways, completely different processed plastic shuttles, mint in the box. It could be done and you know that would probably look impressive lined up on a shelf all side by side in order like that like a hanger that would look really impressive I only have these two and I'm fine with that if I came across another one that was a color combination that I do not have that was a pretty decent price I'd probably get it I'm just being honest <laughs> I would probably go ahead and grab it, but I don't need to have more. I'm happy with this. I'm a fan of the processed plastic stuff. It was cheaply made stuff, but like I said, it had great play value. Again, I go back to the Apollo moon rocket here. I actually had the moon rocket as a child, and I got great play value out of it. I played with this thing all the time, and... You know, back in the day, that was that's what it was all about. People criticize, for example, the Mattel Shogun Warriors. People are like, I don't see the appeal. I've heard that said. But they had great play value, even though their articulation is terrible. <laughs> it's the truth. They were still fun. And then here's uh, more information on the top see on the NASA shuttle program world's first reusable space transportation system and I, I just like how they give you all this information so for a child that would be pretty interesting because you know back in the day we used to read stuff we really did those of you who are younger and buried in your cell phone some of you it says the bottom of the package is a launch pad. Cut along dotted lines and set it up. Mm-hmm. Manufactured by Processed Plastic in Montgomery, Illinois. Made in the USA. There's something you don't hear too often anymore, folks. It's a sad thing. Are you fans of processed plastic? Do you collect that stuff? You can find a lot of it. If you look up processed plastic on eBay it will know what you're talking about and it will show you a thousand or more vintage plastic toys made by this company in the 70s and 80s and boxed versions sealed versions there aren't very many but they're out there and they're not too terribly expensive they're really not if this is your bag. If you remember this as a child and you wanted to grab a couple of pieces, you could potentially do that without really breaking the bank. Somebody unfortunately removed the price tag from right there, and I imagine it was the same type as what's printed right here because that's not printed on the box. It is actually a sticker because you can feel the texture to it. It's been applied at the factory. And I imagine there was one up here and somebody ripped it off because it was supposed to be a gift and they don't want you to know how much you, how much they paid. 
Any thoughts? Did you have this as a child? Did you have the shuttle or the rocket perhaps? When I showed the video showcasing the Apollo rocket, a lot of people chimed in and was like, wow, I had this. And a couple of people still had one. And on the Facebook, you know, because we have our Facebook group open by chance, some people even showed a picture of theirs. They still had one. Which is awesome. I mean, that's what it's all about. You know, going back and finding that stuff from childhood and reliving that moment. Tapping into that nostalgia. And that's what we love doing here on this channel. That's why I show this stuff. So did you have this? Is this something that you had? Is this something you would like to have again? Do you collect processed plastic? If not the shuttles or the rockets, you know, space related stuff. What do you like? Tell us about it in the comments section down below. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you got something out of it. Hope that you did. Share it if you can. Subscribe if you knew all that good stuff. Check out our other videos for more vintage showcases, modern unboxings, tours, including convention tours. We go to shows and bring the show to you if you can't make it. Toy industry and adult collective discussions and so on and so forth. We're all in all nostalgia all the time. And we share it with you, the viewer. So, feel free to chime in in the comment section. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope I brought back some memories. What more can I say? But thanks for watching. And we will see you again soon.